Hello, everyone. How you doing? I see Lisa here. I see Albert here. Very good. Today I have re-established um, uh, settings on my OBS Studio. So let me know in the comments <clears throat> if you can see me, if you can hear me well, or if it's too loud. That would be really good. And uh, I'm just trying to get things settled here. My name is Hal. This is Quail Studios Guitar. Thanks for being here, my friends. Today, you know, I've got the title on this wrong because I wanted to title it uh, something about... Um, let's see. I, I get my head into this. We need to talk about... Okay, thank you, Albert. Great. Good to see. We need to talk about harmonics and non-harmonic tones. Harmonic tones and non-harmonic tones. And give me a like there, please. All right, I'm going to set down a uh, chord progression. top of it. Here we go. Oops, that's the wrong thing. Let me try it again. Let me play it one more time for you, okay? some distortion and this is what it would sound like and that's the progression this is actually the beginning of a song by a friend of mine named Tom Steiner and the song is called Uh Huh, and you can actually find it on my channel. It's a cover song that I did of a, a song of his. And uh, it's a really great song. It's about heroin addiction. And the beginning part, I was like, I just love that beginning part. Now, <clears throat> let's talk a little bit about, let's talk a little bit about food for just a moment, because there's a parallel here. If there's a recipe or something that you really, really like, you know, you, you, you taste something and you're like, oh, I really love that. And you want to find the recipe. We do this all the time. You know, we share things with people and they say, hey, um, can I have the recipe for that? And we're like, uh, it's okay. Okay, great. Let's see what the recipe is. Um, what do we do when we want to copy a recipe? Well, we put in the same ingredients, right? And if we want to make it over and over and over, we do the same thing so that we can have the same result. Well, the same thing happens with music. Let me look at my chat here. Dermot says, hi, Dean. Oh, there's Dean Howdy from Hurricane. Let's see. Hi, Hal. I can hear you loud and clear. Thank you, Dermot. Hello, Lisa. Again, very good. Thank you for helping me out here because I've got new settings on my OBS. And we're going to talk about non-harmonic tones and harmonic tones today for those who are just joining us. So my chord progression is A minor. Okay, let's turn that off. A minor to F to C to G. Okay, that's what I played. F C G. Now, when I'm playing a chord, like an A minor chord, there are three tones in that chord, in every chord, major and minor chord. Um, we're not going to talk about sevenths right now. We're just going to talk about triads, which are three tone chords. 
<clears throat> that's what the tri means, three. Triad means three note. So an A minor chord is an A and a C and an E in it. So anytime I play an A or a C or an E, that's going to go right along with it's going to go right along with that chord. Um, so this chord, let's see, uh, let me let me take that off for just a second. I'm just playing A minor chord. Okay, I've got my loop on the A minor chord. <clears throat> Here's an A note. Here's a C note. And here's an E note. Those are called harmonic tones. Now, if we play any other note, it's called a non-harmonic tone, like this. That's a G or an F. Or if I play one that's right next to the A, see, that one does not work at all. Or a C sharp. Any of those tones are called non-harmonic tones. And some of them are very dissonant, and some of them kind of work. Like the G, if I add the G to that chord, it's actually an A minor 7. So that kind of works. Or if I put a D in it, that kind of works too. Um, <clears throat> so the, the harmonic tones are chord tones. So what happens when you play a chord tone? When you play a chord tone, it's, it's very relaxing. When you play a non-harmonic tone, then all of a sudden the tension starts to build in the music. And that's what happens if you sit on a... Hello everyone, fan guitar club. <laughs> so that's what happens to every note that's non-harmonic, is that it builds tension. Now if I play a non-harmonic tone, I can take a non-harmonic tone and go to a harmonic tone. F to an E. D to a C. A B to an A. Notice right there I went B to D. It builds tension and then relaxes when I go to the A. So the non-harmonic tones build tension. And for those of you who are just joining us, let's just, so, let's see, Dermot says, sometimes when you copy a recipe, it's rice. It's nice to add a little ingredient of your own. <laughs> I like that. That's very, very true. Okay, so let's go to that next chord. Um, the F chord, I'm going to play an F chord now. If I play an F, or an A, or a C, those are harmonic tones. Anything else is a non-harmonic tone. And so you see that there are harmonic tones in every chord. This is why it's really a good idea to understand about chords and music theory. and we're not talking advanced music theory here. We're talking simple stuff. Things that are in the first three or four or five chapters of any beginning music theory book and that are in my, is in my music theory book. Let's go to the, uh, let's go to the piano just for a second because I'm going to play the same thing on the piano with uh, some chords that are held out and play that melody and show you what the non-harmonic tones are. All right, here's, uh, here's the chords. A minor. Let's see if we can do that. Let me look at my... Yeah. Let's see if I'm going to split my keyboard, see what it sounds like. That's better. Okay, so I've got a piano sound here. The first note in that little melody that I played earlier, 
is a non-harmonic tone. It's a D going with an A minor chord. Then it goes to an E, which is a harmonic tone. And then a G, which is a non-harmonic tone. It, it actually turns it into an A minor 7. Up to an E, excuse me, up to an A, back to G. Now that note right there is a D, and I'm playing an F chord. Now it goes down to a G, and we got a C chord. Goes to an A chord, A note, excuse me, with a G chord, which is a non-harmonic tone. Up to an A, to a G, which goes along with that, and then back to an A. So this is really an interesting melody because there's a lot of non-harmonic tones here. I really love it. Okay, so what happens here is that that A on that G chord turns it into a ninth. It's actually a ninth or a second. This is like a D minor 7. That's like a ninth. That's like a ninth on that G chord. Still the ninth. Resolves down to, then to A minor. Really a beautiful melody. We're going to talk about a couple of other different melodies. Uh, one from Pink Floyd and one from uh, a Paul McCartney song in just a second. Let me get out my guitar again. Oh, you know what? Let's see. Let me go ahead and, and on the keyboard, let me make a, a loop or, or a chord progression so I can play along with it. Now, a live stream is different than a regular video because I am not editing and I am flying by the seat of my pants here, right? Let's see here. Let me do a piano sound, take that split keyboard off. It's a, let me go slower. All right, I'm gonna record this. Okay, I just recorded that. That's actually from Maybe I'm Amazed by Paul McCartney. And that's the verse. Maybe I'm amazed the way you love me all the time. You know what? I should actually do this. I can't believe I did that. I did this in, um, in the key that I like to sing it in. Let me do it in the key that uh, Paul McCartney did. I think that'd be better. Because when you watch this back, you could actually play along with it and understand it. I forgot to, um, there it is. Okay, I've got a lead sheet here. Sorry about this, guys. Um, everyone, sorry, I have to, I'm gonna have to redo this. I'm gonna put it in B flat. Uh, I just did it in F. Baby, I'm amazed. But let's do it in B flat. Okay, here we go. Ready, and. that last part up. 
I messed the last part up. Maybe I'm amazed, amazed the way I love you. Yep, I did. I messed that part up. Let me do it one more time. It goes like this. Baby, I'm amazed at the way you love me all the time. Maybe I'm afraid of the way I love you. Maybe I'm amazed at the way you pulled me out of time. Hung me on a line. Maybe I'm amazed at the way I really need you. I made one little mistake there, but I'm not going to do it again. Let's just go with that and see if it works here. So maybe I'm amazed. I did this last week and I haven't gotten done with the, uh, the video yet. Okay, let's see if I can play this. live I can make mistakes right why don't you give me some uh, thumbs up guys likes if you're liking this video we're talking about harmonic and non-harmonic tones right now for those of you who have just joined us so on this vi uh, lead right here it's the uh, it's the core no, excuse me it's the verse chords that are playing and I didn't give myself enough time, did I? This particular lead, I love it. It's very melodic. It's very nice. It doesn't have very many non-harmonic tones. Let me show you on the piano. Let's go to... Let's see, it's B-flat. So B-flat. That G is non-harmonic. And then it goes to an F. Right, most of those notes are harmonic notes. That's not, it's a passing tone. That's not, that is, and then it goes to C, and then it goes C, F, C, excuse me, E, F, C, and then to a G chord with a D. So it's, it's very, um, let me do that split keyboard again. Starts over again. And then C, I think. Yeah, right there, when it goes. That F is a non-harmonic tone immediately uh, going to a harmonic tone. Right? Very quick. Starts over again. Back to a C chord. Let's see, and then where does it go? Let's see, what's my next note? And it does that thing right there at the end. 
Those are all chord tones. I'm playing a C chord. It goes E, C, G, E, C, G, C, E, C, G. And that's what it does. So it's very, very harmonic, very nice. Right there at the end. I kind of messed that up when I played it live for you. Let's try it one more time. A lot of non-harmonic -harmon tones. There was our non-harmonic tone right there. The other lead that I want to show you really quick. <laughs> Sorry. The other, lead that, the other lead that I want to show you really quick is from Comfortably Numb, Pink Floyd. Harmonic and non-harmonic tones. This is a really fun one. Comfortably Numb. Let me get the music out here so I can look at it so I don't make any mistakes. I'm going to go ahead and record um, the lead break, the chords for the lead break. <laughs> It's a D chord, going to an A chord, G with a B bass really quick, C to a G, to a C, to a G, and this is the part that goes. isn't part of the lead, but let me play the lead for you, okay? Here it goes. I just played the straight notes the way they are. Okay, for those of you who are just coming, I'm going to let you know what we're doing here. Non-harmonic tones and harmonic tones. We're talking about that with this lead from Comfortably Numb, the first lead, and the lead break. So let me put on some distortion and play it with distortion. Here we go. And we'll talk a little bit more about the non-harmonic and the harmonic tones. <laughs> Okay, so when I was playing that, I realized that what happens, harmonic tones, all harmonic tones, chord tones, sorry, right there. I think you might do a, a bend up there. Right there, he does a bend in the real lead. It's really great. And then he goes. And then plays that note right there. It's really a great lead. Anytime you have those non-harmonic tones. When you 
when he does that little bend, right, he goes up to the sus4 note. Let's see, what's that next chord? It would be with an A chord. That would be a non-harmonic tone because we're still in A. And that's an A chord. And then he goes down to a G while he's... And then he goes to a D again. When he slides up to that G note and we're on a C chord, right? Goes down to that note right there. What is that note? That's a D note. Then he bends. When he does that right there, it's a, that's a B, D, sorry, B, G, D. That's really cool. Anyway, so what I was saying is that those non-harmonic tones really add tension. Let me put my tuner on really quick so I can see what these notes are really quick. As I'm going through a, a chord progression like this, sometimes what I'll do That's a D note, that's a D chord, and I'll hold it. See what happens, that's a C chord. G chord, that's a harmonic tone. That's a non-harmonic tone, it's like a ninth. So what happens is that you can feel that tension as we feel those harmonic tones. That wants to resolve, and then back to the D, to the A. It sounds good to go down. Now I can go. That's a D going up to an E. As you play notes, I love to do that because I can feel there's tension there, there's relaxation there, tension, relaxation. That's what creates movement in music. Uh-oh. I've got something going on here. Let me go do something. Got another camera rolling. <laughs> I'm going to update this video, take out the the parts that don't work. Okay, let's see. Let's look at the chat. The chat. See what it says. Dean asks, "Are non-harmonics used in scary movies?" Of course they are. Absolutely, 100 um, percent. I know you you asked this a long time ago, right? This is a diminished chord. Right, those are non-harmonic tones. Actually, you know, diminished chords. Right, scary movies will use those kinds of things. Um, Dermot says, sounding fantastic this evening, Hal. Thank you very much, Dermot. Um, this, uh, this idea about non-harmonic tones and harmonic tones is really, really important because it's uh, it's what we do to create movement in music. So pay attention to those and, and take your time. Now, playing really fast, all kinds of different notes, some people really, really love that. It's okay. I mean, it's all right. I don't know if I really love it that much. Um, I like 
things are a little slower. I like space in between notes and phrases and things like that. This is, these are the chords to comfor comfortably numb. See that non-harmonic tone? Uh, just playing around with it. Okay, very good. Um, any questions or anything that you'd like to ask me? I'm here listening for questions. And there seems to be a delay. I tried to take the delay out in my OBS program, but it seems like there's still a delay. So uh, let me know what you get there. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to go here in a minute. Thank you very much. Give me a like if you like this video. And subscribe. I'm from Ireland. Dermot says I'm from Ireland. Yes, yes, yes. Fantastic. I think he's eight hours ahead of us. It's like nine o'clock where he is. Thanks for coming, Dermot. And and Dean and Lisa. I know um, one of our friends. Now, Albert, he's over in uh, the Netherlands. But uh, one of our friends from Ohio here in the United States, he's at a game with his son, or maybe just taking time and listening uh, on the sly and not really uh, getting together today because it's a holiday weekend here in the United States. All right, thank you very much for being here. Well, don't forget, I have a Patreon page in case you want to get my book. Just become a patron and I'll send it to you or you can look at it. You can download it there or on Subscribestar or put a uh, donation in PayPal, link in the description. Thanks for being here. We'll talk to you later. Okay? See ya.